Hi, I'm Craig Frazier from Cal Concepts Air Syndicate, and I'm here at the Nesty Water Booth at the SEMA 2016 show. Not only is it just the Nesty Water Booth, it's also their 90th anniversary here. So, let's go check out the booth. Now, the first thing you might notice is the artwork up there on it. This is all done by Javier Soto. It's all digital, and the whole thing's done with a wrap. Very different from the past where we've done hand paint and stuff, but this booth is much bigger and actually much more incorporated. First thing you can't miss is this killer bike done by Danny D. Amazing candy work and patterns, which you would only expect from Danny anyway, but just badass bike. Uh, Donna even noticed the wheels. She was like, I mean, yeah, that's a serious wheel on there. And we even got Danny D right there in the monitor. That's cool about this year at, at the Iwata booth is we have monitors throughout the booth with interviews with all the major artists talking about their favorite gun, why they like Iwata, what they do, different little aspects, little vignettes, showing pictures of their work. Hence, Danny D, appropriately, right above the bike. We got finished doing. Let's keep on walking around here. As you come in here, we have like the industrial uh, systems over here, as well as more automotive spray guns on display. A lot more shelving than we've had in the past. A lot more display stuff. So we got Cindy over here, head of graphics over there at Ineski Wada in Medea. And uh, you look through all of this stuff, basically a lot of the configuration, a lot of the, the way things are in your advertisements is because of Cindy. She runs away because she doesn't want to be on camera. Take a picture of Cindy on camera. This is Cindy, graphic artist extraordinaire. Aw, so, thank you. Anyway, you notice we got the artwork throughout the entire piece. This is a miniature version of uh, the NASCAR hood that you want to sponsor. And again, a lot more artwork. We even have a piece done here by Corey St. Clair done over Lumalor. Notice it coming, turning on and off. Well, it's not really turning on and off, but there it goes. It turned on for a second there. It is uh, actually a bioluminescent, not bioelectroluminescent paint that can be turned on and off. Over here, we've got another piece of artwork done by Charles Armstrong. And again, more examples of the different spray gun models used in the automotive industry. Great piece by Charles Armstrong. Love the frame with the wrenches around it. Never any loss or creativity around here. Let's keep on walking. And we got Dale. Dale's trying to see There goes Dale. And we got Brooke Cedros here. Hello. From Iwata Medea over in Portland, Oregon. This is more of the hobby section, or actually the fine art section, you can call it. We have different compressor kits and all the airbrushes on display, as well as some of the artists over here. We got Kiwi Terry. And again, another piece of that Lumalore work. This is a piece I did for Coast Airbrush, where it turns on and off. And uh, just basically, it's a base paint system that actually can light up with the pipe. Um, this is the full size hood of the one we saw earlier, the NASCAR hood. Uh, done by, uh, I believe uh, it was done by Rhino and Scott McKay. Another example of an oil free compressor they have here. And as we continue on, we've got the more of the videos, more artwork. Great thing about Iwata is it is about the product, it is about the sales, it is about the spray guns, but it's also about the artists. And it literally is a fine balance of the artists here. We have five demo stations here, six sometimes, of artists painting the entire day and doing different types of artwork, different types of presentations. And you can see different types of art around here on display. Over here, we've got more artists. This is the demo station. Now, we're not going full blast yet because we're not even open yet. It doesn't open for another oh, five or ten minutes. But we'll have anywhere from five to six artists on here the whole day working. Here we have our art tool display with all the stencils. And as you continue walking around the building, you're inundated by more and more artwork. Javier's digital work for the booth, as well as pieces by Scott McKay, Gearbox, Armando, Steve Gibson, you may know him as Air, Air Oil Lead, amazing artist right here. And Donna's favorite artist next to me would be Rod Fuchs. Actually, many of my paintings have been moved because of this man. So uh, this is one of the few artists that's also in my house. The, the test is when Simon takes one of your paintings and puts it in his room, then I'm going to be mad. So. <laughs> okay, that's my goal. <laughs> anyway, we're going to wrap it up here. Um, got more and more artwork. Another piece by this is a piece of Rod Fuchs you just saw there. And we'll finish up over here. Oh, this is amazing. This piece right here, Alberto Herrera. Engraving done on this gun. Absolutely amazing. Well, that about wraps it up. Really quick walk around of the water booth here at SEMA 2016. If you're not here, you should be. And if not, we'll see you next year.